Hey everyone, this is Chad Chris. Come back with another new video. So in this video, we have to talk about how we can install Android TV on your PC laptop by the help of pen drive. You can simply see I have insert pen drive in my PC and uh, currently running Android TV on my PC. By this method, you can easily run Android TV on your PC laptop and experience all features. Let's begin the video. First of all, you need to download one ISO file. I will provide link in description and also you can check on my telegram. And you can easily find this uh, ISO file link on my telegram. Okay, after that, you need to download one application. Uh, its name is Rufuj. Simply uh, open any browser and search here uh, Rufuj exe. Okay, after that, install in your PC or laptop. After that, download uh, this exe file. Its size is approx 1.5 MB. I mean 1.4 MB. Okay, simply download this one. After downloading, double click on Rufuj. After that, simply click on Run. Then you require. Uh, then you need to uh, insert pen drive in your PC or laptop. Simply I insert a 32 GB pen drive in my PC. Make sure your uh, pen drive size is minimum 8 GB and does not contain any important data. After it create a bootable pen drive, it will erase completely. After that, simply uh, click on select, then select uh, ISO file, then simply click on open. After that, no need to change anything, simply click on start. This type of pop-up appears, simply click on ok. You can read if you want to. Then uh, warning uh, pen drive destroyed ok. It means our uh, pen drive completely formatted. Simply click on OK. After that, uh, it del started deleting all partition and create a new partition with the with a uh, bootable pen drive. Okay, it take about uh, four to five minutes maximum. Okay, simply wait here. Okay, it's done twenty four percent. Simply wait here. In my case, I think it's take less than one minutes or two minutes. Let's see how much time it's take. Okay. It's depend upon your PC laptop speed and also depend upon a uh, pen drive speed, uh, which pen drive is huge. No need to uh, create a partition in your PC. Simply you can direct boot it from your pen drive. Simply uh, you insert pen drive and boot. You can uh, see this process. Wait for completing. Okay, it's almost done 99.6%. Okay, wait for completing. Okay, after, after done, simply click on close. Then simply uh, power off your PC. Simply I cut this one. Okay, after that power your PC and lap, power off your PC and laptop. After shut down your PC and laptop, simply uh, power on your PC or laptop. Then boot in boot menu. For boot menu, you can see on the screen shortcuts. According to your motherboard, you can simply uh, press shortcuts. Okay. After that, simply select your pen drive here. Simply I select UFI uh, Sony pen drive. Okay. After that, simply you can select any one version which uh, which you want to. Simply I select a uh, live Nexus player K5.18. Okay. You also can choose any one which you want hit enter after that it start booting it start take about our two to two three minutes okay this type of boot animation appear google and nexus simply wait here
after that this type of page appears simply select your language okay you can select by a uh, keyboard and mouse it's working here after that you can uh, connect any Wi-Fi networks if anyone available okay simply I connect this Wi-Fi after that this type of page appears simply select here Android TV okay you also can select Nexus player but I simply prefer select Android TV after that it's booted and simply you need to connect any Wi-Fi network okay simply you can control with uh, mouse and keyboard it's working here okay play store also working here but i don't refer to uh, login here I first connect to any Wi-Fi networks okay simply I connected with this, this network okay after that simply go back okay I check Netflix is working or not you can see a uh, Netflix working if you have any uh, account you can log in here after that check YouTube Here we have to search 4K resolution and check it's working or not. Simply I play this one. Uh, everything working perfectly. Sound is also. Okay, you can see our 4K HDR supported here. Everything working perfectly and also Google Assistant working perfectly. I tested it. Thanks for watching.